Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Okay, so this is going to be a uh, Gemini Sun Moon and as well rising monthly tarot reading October 2019 and bear with me a couple of seconds guys to uh, make the shuffle here and uh, we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your month Gemini is going to be the Sun card, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to stand against and overcome eventually, that will be the Seven of Pentacles. Afterward, the third card stands for the uh, best possible approach to all the situations that the month are going to throw at you or that is the most efficient way how you can tackle with all the, with all the things that you need to deal with. We do have the hangman. Afterwards is going to be the uh, lesson that this month it's, uh, is to teach you. And that will be the um, eight of pentacles. And then the last card here for you guys is going to be the uh, positive energy. So rather like the energies which are going to help you throughout the month. That will be the page of pentacles. So uh, just from the overview that looks like a, a very efficient and growthful, uh, if I may express myself that way, I don't know if there is such a word in English, but yeah, a month that you are to grow in a very efficient way. But before we go into that, let's run the cards one more time. So the first one, it is the Sun card, which stands for the topic of the month, followed by the next one, which is the Seven of Pentacles, that is the challenges that you need to face. Afterwards, we do have the hangman, which stands for the best possible approach that you can make toward the situation. Then it is uh, the eight of pentacles, which is the lesson that you need to learn, Gemini. And the last one here are the supportive energies that are allowing you to take the edge throughout the month. So the first one, which is uh, the sun, and it represents the topic here, is uh, catalyzed, or rather like the catalyst of it, accompanied by the full card. So we do have an active friend, and uh, it's, uh, there is um, no other way to say it than this is some sort of a, uh, a new beginning, let's say that way. But the thing is that when the full corresponds with the sun card, it is a, a natural new beginning, I would say it that way. Something you have worked for, right? right? Something that you have invested in. Something that you deserve. It is, uh, I'm going to say it that way. Yeah. So it's something that you deserve. It is to happen to you throughout the month of um, October. And uh, it does look like that you are going to enjoy it quite much because that will provoke within you a quite severe carefree behavior as well. A lot of a uh, light hardness, if I may express it that way, toward the perspective that awaits you into the future. Not to mention that this is going to severely uh, lose the strain 
over the relationships that you do have. What I mean is that there won't be the usual pressure and tension in there. So you can kind of like express yourself just as one is, let's say that way. Also, these two cards are um, promising uh, quite so a monetary success throughout the month. What I mean is that if you are striving toward money, then it does look like that you will be able to cash in on whatever you are trying to sell or whatever you are trying to accomplish. But um, in the grand in the in the in the grand scheme, these two cards are point are pointing to expanding energies of growth. You know, uh, like I said, business or a relationship success, new beginnings as well, and a lot, a lot of friends. This is something that we shouldn't undermine as well. That um, it will be natural to you, Gemini, to make friends. So um, suggestions is that what I, what I want to uh, give you right now, guys, with these two beautiful cards, is that if you want to um, work certain profession that up until this moment you couldn't uh, you couldn't capitalize on, then maybe for the month of October the uh, the opportunity will present itself. If you do think that you can make a relationship with someone, all right, but up until this point, for example, you don't have a good connection in between each other or you are not hanging out way too often, then probably it's time for you, Gemini, to do something about it as well because definitely you are to have a new beginning here but as it comes as a circumstantial card or a catalyst, that new beginning, it is, uh, it gives you the option you to decide where that beginning is going to take place. So the next one is going to be the challenges. And that is the seven of pentacles catalyzed by the death card. So uh, I can't say that these are much of a, a challenges. And now of uh, first thing that you need to acknowledge here as a your challenges is that uh, things are going to take a, a different shape or rather like they're yeah they're going to materialize in a different way not that you have expected but more like that you have a work toward therefore they will be not something you hoped for, but in the same time, they are to be something that you can definitely enjoy. So just because you're not getting what you want, it doesn't mean that what you are getting is not something that you may want into the future. Additionally to that, these two cards here are urging you to be mindful of how much resources you are spending. It's, uh, it's important throughout the months to... Um, Give yourself a time to rest, all right? Give yourself a time to, to think about it. Give yourself a time to, um, let's say, analyze uh, about your resources and about your boundaries as well and how, how much you're willing to cross certain boundaries, how much resources you are willing to invest in. And as well, these two cards are warning you guys that <clears throat> if something looks helpless, all right, uh, if a situation, let's say your marriage or your career does look helpless, uh, this um, impulse of growth is going to happen suddenly because an important event here is lurking behind the corner and uh, it will be such a waste if you rush it if you prematurely make a certain decision or incorporate certain actions which are to deprive you to take advantage of this event and the next one is going to be the best possible approach toward the situation here and that is the hangman uh, catalyzed by the Queen of Wands. So uh, you need to give up on uh, outdated concepts. You need to give up on outdated, not habits, but perceptions, I would say, because the rules of the game, for what it seems, they are going to change. And it's very important here throughout the months of October to maintain your patience and to maintain your calmness so you can see how the rules are to to align. Now, these rules which are realigning here, these new stipulations, let's say, or amendments, okay, uh, they are going to, um, let's say, unblock a, a situation that you are finding yourself stuck in. But also, it will require some new course of actions that you need to incorporate throughout the month, a new way how you behave, a new set of skills that you need to use, all right, or a new set of words as well, new negotiations, and etc. etc. So you have to prepare yourself for everything new because throughout the month, uh, the, uh, the storm that you're going through, whatever that storm is, or whatever the storm is taking place in either of your situations, that storm is going to pass away. 
and you don't want to waste all of your arrows you don't want to waste all of your bullets before the storm ends okay because when um, the skies are clear you will have much better uh, understanding how things works and what you should do in order to improve your marriage in order to improve your career as well so patience is the game is the name of the game here patience which through a uh, praying uh, your uh, your goal <clears throat> will give you the option to take advantage of the uh, of the new beginning but nonetheless guys this is the topic here growth all right but that growth can be can be accomplished only by a careful incorporation of your resources and your um and your time if you want to say it that way as well so uh just because you can immensely grow throughout the month that doesn't mean that it's going to start straight away not with these cards it may take off in the in the middle of the month you know halfway through the month at the end of the month as well it's all about waiting the storm to calm uh, or the storm to calm down uh, the next one it is about the lesson that you need to learn and that is the eight of pentacles and it is catalyzed by the Six of Pentacles. Oh, very, uh, very strong one, very strong lesson here. We do have a, a passive supporters, first of all. So that is the lesson of a uh, the natural unfoldment, once again. That is the lesson that it's it not always gonna be that way. So <clears throat> let's say you're struggling into your career, you ain't gonna struggle forever. You're struggling into your marriage, you ain't gonna struggle forever. You're happy into your marriage, you, um, you may not be happy forever, right? So these two cards uh, are asking you to learn that nothing is for granted, asking you to learn that everything change, uh, changes and you have to be in tune, you need to be emancipated with the change itself. So for that reason, you need to attend your uh, your options available, you know, the deeds and the tasks with huge portion of conscientiousness, you need to attend those things, having the, uh, having the, uh, the uh, tendency to um, to work with the minor detail or to have a glance, to have a look upon the minor detail out there. And as well, that your plans or your words or whatever you are anticipating not to be in vain. So whatever plans you do have, you need to always work for that those plans can be transformed into actions, okay? <clears throat> so uh, otherwise you are just occupying your mind with, with useless let's say it that way with useless concepts that cannot be put into uh into motion so this is what is important to learn the way that i see it the lesson really uh tells us that you need to uh that you should stop concerning yourself with what can be in the future but rather concern yourself with what is right now so you can um you can alter it best into uh in your interest all right and then and, and you can make the most out of it and the last card are or is the um the energies which are going to support you throughout the months this is the page of pentacles with the knight of swords we do have a passive enemies here so tenacity is not something that you are going to have throughout the month just on the contrary here it looks like that you are going to be more um, how I would say it, um, materially oriented. Materially, in a sense, not not only through uh, not only toward money, but also toward time and toward a uh, personal efforts that you can incorporate either into your career or either into your uh, either into your uh, marriage or relationship life or whatever. Because with the Page of Pentacles, uh, it's uh, you are going to. Um, these energies are going to make you to invest only in those things which are worth it. They're, these energies are going to make you share your emotions only with those that deserve your emotions, for example, or to spend money only in those endeavors which does have something to give you in return. So it's not going to be... What I'm trying to say here is that these energies are going to push you or going to make you to be always reason, reasonable of how you give yourself to the world and to the other people but nonetheless uh, here Gemini uh, it's time to fasten your seal, seed, ba seed belts for what it seems buckle up because it seems that the opening it's it is happening here in the month of um, of October and you have to be patient enough 
and emancipated enough to seize it. So yeah, that was uh, your monthly tarot reading for October 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.